All right, Matt Moore, Show Up Football Insiders. We're back once again. Uh, we're very excited to talk to a talented young man out of Fort Mill High School in South Carolina. Uh, I mean, this guy is 6'4", 283 pounds. And, um, you know, when I looked at his film, you know, the, the biggest question I have is why are there not more people looking at this kid? I mean, it, it's insane. I mean, he's got the frame. He's got the talent. And that is Marcus Boston Brinkley. We're going to bring him on with us right now. All right. How are we doing tonight, sir? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. I appreciate you uh, being patient with us and uh, coming on tonight. Um, you know, the first thing I want to ask you is, you know, being that size, you know, I I'm going to assume there's some, you know, pedigree in your life. So uh, what made you want to play football? And, you know, were there some influences, you know, from your family involved in that? Well, I was definitely influenced by my dad because he played back in uh, 92 for UNC. And the main reason I play football is because I love to compete. I love to go against other players that are uh, kind of my size and, you know, being able to compete and just go against them. Very good. Very good. And you, you mentioned competing against players your size. On your film, I see you absolutely dominate guys your size. <laughs> so, um, you know, your technique is really good. Uh, your pass sets and stuff and your steps are good. But, you know, are you a gentle giant or do you have that nasty streak that kind of turns on when it needs to? Oh, yeah, definitely. Usually when I'm off the field, I'm, you know, I am that gentle giant. But when I'm on it, it's – I'm. I'm all in. I'm ready to go. Very good. Very good. So uh, does it take someone to kind of push your button to turn that on, or is it just kind of a switch that comes on naturally? No, it's, it's just a switch. You know, I can go on and off and, I'm, you know, just get focused and ready, and I'm ready to go. All right, man. Good deal. That's awesome, man. Good stuff. Um, so, you know, you're a junior this year. You'll be a rising senior. Um, what's your best memory playing high school football so far? Best memory, um, just being able to um, be with my teammates. You know, I really enjoy, you know, hanging out with them, practicing with them. Many of the uh, seniors this year, they were great. And, you know, I'm going to miss them when they leave. And, you know, it's just just bonding with them has been just great. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. I saw you guys in action uh, week one when you took on uh, Nation Ford. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that was a pretty kind of back and forth game there for a while. Um, you know, talk to me about the experience of playing at Fort Mill High School. What, what is that like? A young team. So, you know, we're still trying to get kids to learn their positions and uh, stuff. But, you know, we we practice hard. You know, we try, we try to um, – bond together, uh, push each other hard to get better at our positions. You know, it's just a, it's just a price a process. Oh, yeah, I've been through those years as a player, as a coach. You know, it's tough, you know, but, you know, it's funny that those kind of years are the ones that, you know, I kind of cherish the most and I've learned the most from, you know, yeah. and, and becoming a man and, you know, going through different things in life. So, you know, I applaud you for that, you know, taking something positive you know, out of a tougher season on the field in terms of wins and losses. Um, in your opinion, what is the best thing you do on the field? You know, my pass protection and, you know, just being able to um, stay on my blocks and my footwork. It, it, you know, I think my footwork is really impressive. So I work on that a lot during the weekends and, you know, making sure that's good. And also just basic offensive technique. Yeah, yeah. Your offensive line coach is is one of the best in the business. And, you know, his teaching is reflected in, you know, what you displayed on tape. Um, the true technician of the uh, left tackle position. I, I love that. I used to coach offensive line, and I could watch that tape all day. <laughs> That's good stuff, man. Um, so we've had a crazy year. Uh, COVID-19 is still wrecking our world. Um, you know, somehow South Carolina managed to get through a season, uh, which mm -hmm. is awesome. 
what, what kind of work could you do in the offseason to prepare for the upcoming year? So in the offseason, in the mornings, uh, we had team workouts, conditioning, lifting weights. And then after that, in the afternoon, I would usually do uh, Vertimax speed and agility training. And then on weekends, I would do position uh, specific training for defense and offense. Very good. Now, did you do that on your own or were you working with a trainer or, or how did that go normally go? Yeah. So for the individual uh, position groups, I do uh, hold, which is um, Harrison's mm -hmm. O-line development. I do, do that on the weekends to work on my uh, yep. technique, pass protection. And then I go to velocity for speed and agility and defensive training. OK, OK, awesome. So I know we were talking before that you played some offensive, you know, tackle primarily and you played some defense. Um, mm -hmm. I'm assuming is offense your favorite, or do you like you know defense a little more because you get to kind of hit some people? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I love defense because you know I get to hit someone, you know, go tackle, you know, just be nasty, be able to you know take down an O line. It's just great. But you know, I also love O line because you know I'm protecting my quarterback and you know just love you know getting down to the um, end zone, just scoring. It's great. Very good, man. Awesome, awesome. Now, we said that um, we discussed earlier you got an offer for right now from Coastal Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, but I know, you're, you know, your recruiting still open. What are you looking for from a school, ideally, on the next level? Mainly it's just what they're, you know, what they're wanting from me, you know, uh, depending on, like, their own. I'm looking at their how good their O-line is and, you know, how good their O-line coaches are and their defensive coaches and just, you know, the type of atmosphere they have there and, you know, if it's good for me. And most importantly, academics. There you go. There you go, man. There's always going to be life after football, so <laughs> you got to yep. make sure you can, you know, take care of yourself. That's that's good stuff, man. Excellent. Um, who would you like to thank for your football success so far in your career? Well, I want to thank my my mom, my dad, all of, all the coaches that I've been able to work with, and you know, most importantly, God. Amen. We can't do any of this without him. So I, mm -hmm. I totally agree with that, man. I totally agree. Um, so when we do these things, we typically share them among, you know, different social media sites that we're on. Um, is there anything you want to say to your friends and your coaches, um, anyone that may be, you know, watching this and supporting you throughout your career? Um, I would just say, you know, just be on the lookout for me, you know, um, Expected to do great things, you know, be able to do good, do great things for any team that I play on. And that I have just a bright future. I totally agree with that. I totally agree. Um, my last question to you is I know we got the NFL going on. Thank goodness we got, you know, some other football that we can watch. Uh, what NFL player, if there is one, would you most compare your game to? I, I don't. I just watch a bunch of players. I don't really compare myself to any of them. That's good. That's good. You know, it's good to, you know, be your own brand, make your own, you know, name for yourself. So, you know, that's awesome. Um, I mean, me and just looking at your film, being a technician and a student of the game, um, you know, I, I would put you up there with some of the better pass blockers that, you know, throughout NFL history, you know, some of the guys that like to get out of their stance real quick and get back. Uh, some names I, I throw out there you probably wouldn't even recognize. So. <laughs> um, that's good, man. That's good. Uh, well, Marcus, I mean, it was a pleasure watching your film. Um, I think your recruitment is going to blow up once, you know, we, we get it out there and people see, you know, the kind of talent and the tech, technical skills you have at the left tackle position, especially. And, um, man, I appreciate the time tonight. And uh, thank you for uh, being a part of this with us. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, thank you for having me. Appreciate it.